A nationwide monitoring system for Japan's nuclear power plants malfunctioned last month, sparking widespread concern. The operator says the system stopped operating due to poor maintenance. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. The emergency response and support system failed to transmit data to terminal screens at the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency for more than 24 hours from December 30th. You really are a the agency also failed to notice the problem for more than one hour. You're as cuddly as a cactus and as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. The system monitors pressure, temperature and other real-time conditions of reactors at nuclear power plants around the country, as well as radiation levels in surrounding areas. You're a bad banana with a greasy black beard. An investigation by the government-affiliated corporation that manages the system revealed that the data processing functions malfunctioned because of poor maintenance. Just face the music, you're a monster. Mr. Grinch, yes you are. The corporation says it will increase its maintenance of the system by rebooting its server software twice a year and introducing an automated alarm system. You got colleges all over, Mr. Grinch. The organization assessing the safety of Japan's nuclear plants has been advised not to rely on manufacturers' quality checks. Well, I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. An independent panel of experts submitted its final report on Thursday. The government-affiliated Japan Nuclear Energy Safety Organization admitted last year that it failed to notice mistakes in the manufacturer's manual used to approve fuel rods during inspections in 2008. The panel found similar problems in other nuclear reactor components. Questioning the independence of the organization, the report recommends that the safety body make its own manuals and keep records of its meetings with manufacturers for review. Inspection standards should be independent and examiners and examinees should not collaborate. The organization says it plans to create a timeline for reviewing its screening procedures. The doomsday clock has ticked one minute closer to global catastrophe. It now stands at five minutes to midnight. The U.S. scientific magazine making the gloomy forecast says world leaders are not doing enough to promote nuclear disarmament. The clock is a symbolic barometer showing how close mankind is to self-annihilation. The magazine Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists announced its decision on Tuesday. It said the roadmap to a nuclear-free world remains unclear because leaders of the U.S., China, North Korea, and others have failed to achieve significant progress. <coughs> the magazine also referred to the disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant in Japan. It says the accident shows that even peaceful use of nuclear power can become a threat to humans and raises safety questions about complex technology. You're a vile one. <clears throat> Mr. Grinch, your termites in your spine. American and European representatives have condemned Iran's production of highly enriched uranium. They say Tehran has breached UN Security Council resolutions. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. 
The council held closed-door discussions on Wednesday. The International Atomic Energy Agency confirmed on Monday that Iran began enriching uranium using centrifuges at a facility near the city of Qom. Western diplomats expressed their concerns that the activity cannot be for peaceful purposes. They say Iran violated UN resolutions that prohibit the country from enriching uranium. After the talks, French Deputy Ambassador Martin Brian said Tehran has resisted efforts to restart negotiations. Some Western diplomats said there is no clear path toward adopting a new Security Council resolution. A Russian government official has reaffirmed that Moscow is opposed to any new sanctions on Iran. Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov made the statement in an interview with the state-run Tartas news agency. He said Russia is opposed to new sanctions even if Iran presses ahead with uranium enrichment. And he said the country is opposed to using force against Iran. Ryabkov said that would be a grave mistake and the consequences would be far-fetching or far-reaching for regional and global security. Given the choice between you, I'd take the... Parliamentarians in the Asia-Pacific region have called for improved defensive measures to protect nuclear power plants against natural disasters and terror attacks. More than 300 lawmakers from the United States, China, Indonesia and other countries attended a general meeting of the Asia-Pacific Parliamentary Forum in Tokyo. In the wake of the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant, the forum adopted a resolution on nuclear safety for the first time. The resolution urges governments in the Asia-Pacific region to step up nuclear plant defenses against terror attacks as well as tsunami and other natural disasters. Yeah. 